Hey everybody, welcome to my video on the product rule. We're going to figure out how to take the derivative of a function that has a specific functional form, or I guess trait or something, where our function is the product of two functions. I mean that my f function, the one I'm interested in, can be divided into two smaller functions. In this case, g of x and h of x. If that's true, then there's a really simple, straightforward way to take the derivative. f prime of x is equal to g of x times h prime of x plus g prime of x times h of x. And basically, you just have g times h twice, but in one case, the prime is in, on one of them, and in the other case, the prime is on the other. Add them together, there you go. Now, why does this matter for my econ class? Well, let's do an example here real quick. Let's say we have a revenue function. Revenue as a function of Q. And revenue is equal to P times Q. Okay, price times quantity, that's how much money comes into my store. But P is equal to A minus BQ. We got some inverse demand curve like that. That means that R of Q, oops, R of Q is equal to A minus BQ times Q. All right, now I realize I don't have to use the product rule here. I could call this AQ minus BQ squared and do it with the power rule. Uh, for the sake of just demonstrating this rule for this video, I'm not gonna do that. So let's stick with it. Let's say g of q is equal to a minus b q. Well, that also means that g prime of q is equal to minus b. Uh, next, we have h of q, which is just equal to q, which means that h prime of q is equal to 1. So our derivative of the revenue function, which we actually use a lot, we call it marginal revenue, is dr dq is r prime of q, however you want to write it, those are all the same thing, is, and let's see, what did I say? What was our rule? g times h prime plus g prime times h. So that's a minus b q times 1 plus g prime, which is minus b, times h, which is just q. What is that? That's g times h prime plus g prime times h. There's our rule for us. Uh, what does it simplify to? This is going to simplify down to a minus bq minus bq, which is a minus 2bq. Now, if you're in my class, this should not be a surprising result. I already gave you that price is equal to a minus bq, and I've also told you that the marginal revenue curve is equal to the price curve, except that the slope gets doubled. It comes out of this calculus with the product rule. You've got an A minus BQ that happens here, and you're subtracting an additional BQ there. And so the slope will double. And that's only true if the line is straight, but eh, whatever, I digress. Uh, so there you have it. I gave you the product rule, and I gave you an example of using it to find marginal revenue. You can use it for lots of other things too. It's true in econ, it's true in physics, and just about everything else that needs calculus. Well, not just about. It's true in everything else that needs calculus. Product rule. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. If not, go watch a calculus video from someone who actually knows how to teach this stuff. Good luck, guys.